Sijui nani alituroga? Who bewitched us? As Africans, who bewitched us? Why are we always putting our sofas or our couches against the wall? Like, why do we do that, guys? On my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Spanish Aperita aka Miss Sweet. And guys, today as you can see, it's a sit down video. And today, guys, we are gonna discuss. So, guys, as the title suggests, today we are gonna discuss the do's and don'ts of your living room. So guys, the first, first point, do not place your furniture against the wall. Do not do that, guys. I don't know who bewitched us as Africans. I don't know Nani Eliturroga. I don't know where we got that from, but I do not understand why we usually put our couches against the wall. This is something that we need to, I don't know, should I say rebuke? Should I say pray for? Should, what should I say, guys? Please let us not put our couches against the wall. It's not even... I don't know how to put this, guys, but to see it is it to among our sofas against the wall because, one, we are making the room look like it is squeezed or it's coming down. I don't know. It just feels like something is not right somewhere, guys. So please, let us avoid putting our couches against the wall. But instead, let us like try at least... Put a, our couch away from the wall, maybe, can you do 30 centimeters, 45 centimeters, one feet, something like that, guys. Let's try and just put our couches against the wall. As for me, my couch is approximately 45 centimeters away from the wall, and I'm loving that because, one, it's easier to clean. I can actually pass through or go through behind my couch and open my curtains well. I can actually just clean without, like, I can actually hide something if I want to. And guys, something else, you can also like, I saw another person that said, if you put your couches a few feet or a few centimeters away from your wall, you can actually store a bottle of wine or boxes of milk or anything that you want to store if you don't have space behind the couches and nobody will ever know. But I'm not saying you do that. That is if you have tiny or uh, small spaces. But it's just so good and it feels fresh and just um, beautiful. The room just widens up if you put your couch away from the walls. Another thing that guys you need to concentrate on in your living room is buy one extremely i repeat guys extremely expensive item so that it will guide you on how to decorate your living room do you hear me guys buy something expensive for your living room do you want to buy a couch do you want to buy a carpet do you want to buy a coffee table it's upon you guys to decide what you want to buy because this expensive item is what will guide you on how to decorate your living room an example for me my couch is what is expensive because i got i got my couch at it was 24000 plus uh, 24000 plus the delivery guys because i actually got it from my local fundi ule wa rokai i got it for 24000 plus 3000 in transportation that was 27k so let me just say my couch is roughly 27k and that 27k is what is holding my living room together if you understand because my couch is expensive yes and i'm decorating around my couch because you realize my carpet is somehow matching my couch because my couch is somehow of white somehow beige then my carpet has some aspect of of white gray it's really matching my space and guys why i say you need to buy one expensive thing to decorate around is deco sometimes deco is expensive sometimes you can actually make your own deco if you are making your own deco fine well and good you are saving coins but always remember to get one expensive thing in your living room that you can decorate around it because if you decide to get a sofa or if you like a couch you will be buying curtains 
just somehow close to the color of your couch you'll buy a carpet close to your couch and actually your couch is what determines what your living room is gonna be and guys when i'm talking about this never go in a living room and then start painting red blue green orange yellow and then you bring in i don't know a maroon couch bring a couch before you start even painting your walls it's advisable to bring in your couch or something that you want to help you film your room something that you want to help you theme your room by that i mean if i bring in a mustard couch i just know i want my walls white i want my walls brown i want my walls beige and another thing is my carpet will be this color or that color get that expensive thing to help you decorate around your house or your living room to be precise make sure you don't hang your wall paintings way too high where you are you, you are not able to see unless you do this it's not advisable for you to be raising your hair your head to just read or actually I just say read because actually with paintings what you do is read you don't see or you don't you don't like look at them you read them get that so guys don't place your paintings or your wall arts up above like way behind your eye level what it is advised to place your paintings somehow a little bit just above your couch what I mean by that is when you're sitting on your couch, you can actually read your painting and understand the message you're getting. Because actually, when you're getting paintings for your living room, you are getting paintings that speak to you. Am I right, guys? You are getting paintings that speak to you. You are getting wall art that actually say something about you. And if you want somebody to come to your living room and understand your painting, you need to put it at an eye level. When I mean an eye level is the way I'm looking at you. See this? This is an eye level. I don't know if you get this right so this is the same way you need to place your paintings never place your painting in that when you want to read into them you are like this it's not advisable guys hang your wall paintings somewhere you can easily read through them or read into them without struggling or without doing this or without doing this or any guys make sure you hang them at a level where you are comfortable looking at them all your furniture pieces should have their leg on your rug which means don't buy a tiny rug for your living room and don't buy an extremely big rug for your living room buy a medium sized rug for your living room to make your space look awesome look homely look comforting and with with this i mean all your furniture pieces should have their legs Okay, the legs, you guys understand what I mean by the legs of your furniture. If you have a sofa, make sure the, the front two legs or the, 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 the what? The bottom of, the, of your couch should rest on the rug or the carpet. Let me call it carpet because in Kenya I don't think we call them rugs. So guys, make sure the legs are resting on your carpet. Because when your carpet is somewhere in between and your couches are way like they are against the walls i don't know the space between your carpet and your furniture that looks extremely bad and weird just make sure all your furniture pieces at least a leg of each furniture piece is stepping or is lying or is resting on the carpet this brings an artistic look and feel in your living room and it also brings that look of you know what you're doing you're just not throwing things in your living room so make sure guys your furniture pieces the legs or the they rest on your carpet to just make sure that you have that artistic look and feel in your living room because it is important to have a coordinated space you don't want to be throwing things all over your living room and then your visitors are coming to your house and they're like what is happening in this house things are not even in position i don't know what is thrown where just have a coordinated living room guys it is important to have that so make sure guys when you're buying a rug, don't buy a bigger rug, don't buy a smaller rug, buy a medium size in that your furniture can be resting around it. And if you have watched my videos, you will realize my couch is resting on my on my on my carpet. And then my TV stand behind me is also somehow resting on my carpet because this is how I want it to look and I want it to look coordinated I want it to look well thought out and just don't want to throw things around my living room I want them to feel like this is something that has been thought through you don't just throw things guys use throw pillows and throw blankets thoughtfully what do I mean by thoughtfully guys 
what i mean is when you have throw pillows and throw blankets don't have extremely so many that it that makes the place look out of like out of this world just use a few pieces of throw blankets a few pieces of throw pillows to coordinate through your living room to have one beautiful place to have one comforting place because you don't want to sit on the couch and then your back is stiff or something you want to rest on something right so when you're resting on the on the throw pillows and actually don't have two uh, don't have few pieces because imagine when you are when you're hosting and you have friends over do you want them to relax into your couch yes of course so make sure at least you have a piece for each and that means you need to understand how many a number of uh, people or friends that you are hosting for me i don't think i usually host maybe more than four at a go so maybe on one side i have four pieces on the other side of the coach i have four pieces so having that helps me to balance up my couch and also not to just have a lot of throw pillows thrown all over my couch so that i don't have enough space to sit or to rest have a few pieces and for my case i have four four that's those are eight and then i have two on the floor in case you want to rest your feet on on one you can just grab it and do so and then guys when i say thoughtfully I can, i'm also meaning when you're getting the throw blankets and the throw in the throw pillows make sure you have a mixture of colors don't just uh, by a mixture of colors i'm assuming guys you have already settled on three colors that you want in your living room or even two and as for me i settled on black mustard and like a pattern so for that i like i actually thought through the process so i have the three and they're making my couch look fabulous look awesome look luxurious if you want so make your living room look like you don't just have a living room that doesn't speak your language so for me my throw pillows my throw blankets actually speak for my language at the moment i've not found the throw pillows that i'm looking the throw blankets that i'm looking for because i want to have mustard and black throw blankets in my living room but at the moment i have black and white and i'm looking forward to replacing the white throw blanket and i know with the time as i go to think twice i'll be able to find a mustard throw blanket or maybe somewhere in the market and guys always remember to have some texture or pattern in your living room and for my case my curtains are textured my throw pillows the black ones are textured the black is not a plain it is plain black but it is just it is just textured you need to touch it to feel the texture and then my carpet guys it is textured so like remember to always add a few textures in your living room don't just have a, a solid plain color or a solid i don't know what have some texture they also create that artistic look artistic feel and it just brings everything together and everything in your living room will just be how do i say this everything will be looking awesome comforting welcoming you know make sure you add those aspects in your living room to not have just a plain living room i think guys something that you need to note is your living room speaks a lot about you because your living room is where you receive your visitors right so you need to get your living room right you need to have an artistic look and feel in your living room i know somebody everybody actually has that artistic um artistic uh, taste in them it's just that have you found your artistic ish test and if you have well and good if you have not i think you need to decide just check out a few things that you will need in your living room and see how they will come together after combining them remember texture is key guys texture is key don't just have plain things going up and down all over have some texture in your living room even when you are getting the deco items make sure you have texture because texture brings a different feel it brings out the artistic side in you and makes your living room to look awesome you need to decorate with the mirrors do not forget to bring in mirrors in your living room and i will always tell you this guys mirrors in living rooms or whatever spaces that you want to place them in they brighten up the room they help you make the room look like it's well lit and especially when you have your mirrors overlooking the windows that will be an awesome thing to do because the light coming from out will actually be absorbed in the mirror and then bounce it out into your living room and you will have an amazing space and then guys when you're going out for the mirrors make sure you get mirrors that also have a, a little bit of texture mirrors that are somehow 
deco-ish, don't just get a plain mirror and hang it up there. Get mirrors that actually say something. Get mirrors that have patterns, get mirrors that have texture, get mirrors that... Get fancy mirrors, that is what I'm trying to say. Get fancy mirrors, don't just get any other mirror. And then guys, apart from getting the fancy mirrors, also I mentioned about pattern. Guys, do not be afraid to decorate with patterns in your living rooms. Do not be afraid. Just make sure not to overdo. But decorating with patterns, guys, this should be a must. This will be a must for you. Because in my living room, what pattern do I have? I have a pattern on my couch. I have a pattern on my curtain. You can see the reflection over here in this door. You can see the pattern, right? So I have pattern on the curtain. I have pattern on the couch for the throw pillows. And I think, oh, and my white throw blanket also has pattern. And my carpet somehow has a pattern. So guys, do not be afraid to decorate with patterns. Patterns are important for your house. Patterns are important for your living room and they speak so much about you and especially the pattern that you choose. For me, I always want to choose a pattern that is confusing so that everybody can actually think that I'm confused. <laughs> you know, when it says confuse your, your, your enemies, I don't know. I don't have any enemies, but I'm just like to try to confuse everything and everyone out there. So that's why I get a confused pattern for my couch. And then for the carpet, I can't actually speak about the, the pattern so much because actually with that, I was helped to pick that. And maybe a friend of mine, Kamange Kua Pangech Saidia, could decide on why she advised me to pick that. But I picked that and I'm not regretting. To end this video, I'm just going to say the main thing that you need to take away from this video, guys, is use mirrors in your living room. Decorate with patterns, guys. Put your furniture away from the wall. I mean, put your sofas or your couch again away from the wall. And with this, guys, you will make your room to look fabulous. It will look spacious. It will look homely, comforting, and you just feel the fresh vibe inside your living room. Let's do this, guys. Try put your furniture away from the wall. And then you tell me in the comment section what you think or the difference that you will have noticed. And guys, it will actually help you to open up your curtains in the morning because you will you will not be standing on the couch. You will actually be behind the couch, yeah? So guys, check aways for this video. Use patterns in your living room. Put your furniture away from the walls. And guys, use mirrors in your living room. Mirrors enhance your space by brightening it up. They make your space look luxurious. They make your space look comforting. They add lighting into your living room, guys. And another thing, guys, is do not have too much of throw pillows and throw blankets. For the throw blankets, maybe you just have three. For the throw pillows, depends with your seat. Because actually, I wanted you to have four. And maybe your couch is bigger. So if it's big, the bigger the couch, maybe determines the number of uh, throw pillows that you need to have over there. But guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you so much for staying tuned. And thank you so much for giving me a thumbs up. If you have not, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And guys, I love you. I love you, I love you so much, guys. And above all, please remember to subscribe. Share this video with everyone. Share with your friends, with your family. And let them know there's a lady out there called Miss Sweets that has a channel, a beautiful channel with amazing content that you guys need to check out. Right? Am I lying, guys? Am I lying? I know I'm not lying. So, guys, continue supporting this girl. Subscribe, guys. Share with your friends. Tell them to subscribe too. And above all, guys, I love you. And with me, or from me, Miss Sweet, it's peace. And I'm out, guys. Bye, guys.